Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So I'm here to do round two of Try It Before You Buy It. This is a series I started to try to help control my book buying habit a little bit. So I'm going to use my library and scour their new release section and see if there's some books there that I'm interested in maybe purchasing. And I'm going to borrow them from the library first, try a chapter in each of them, and really kind of give them give them a try, give them a test run to see if they are books that I'm truly interested in and I want to buy. Um, I was at the library earlier this week, dropped off some other books, so I went through the new release section and I found four books that I want to give a whirl. Well, three that were totally on my radar and then I felt like I needed a fourth just to make it even, so I found something that looked a little interesting. So. I'm going to let you know what the books are, a little synopsis about them, and then I will vlog as I read each of the chapters and share with you what I think I will either buy or what I will just return. So here we go. First one I picked up is totally the fault of Lisa from Books and Smiles because she was talking about this quite a lot. This is The Neighbors by Hannah Mary Mc McKinnon. This follows... Abby, who was in the car with her brother when they got in a car accident and her brother passed away. She feels guilt for it and in the aftermath of the accident, she broke up with her longtime boyfriend Liam because she's like, how can he love me when I don't even love myself? Fast forward years later, Abby is now married to Nate. Now Nate was also part of the accident. He came onto the scene and saved Abby, really, but couldn't save her brother. So he's got some guilt he's dealing with as well. So their relationship works because they've, they're both dealing with this, this really tragic event. Until Liam moves into the neighborhood that they live in. Right? That just sounds juicy. So we're picking that up for sure. Give that a try. Next up, I believe, was another book of the month pick, and it is Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. I've heard a couple of good things about this. It sounds like it's a bit of a historical fiction, so another so it follows another character named Anna and Abby. Wow, I've got similarities here. But Anna, when she's 12 years old, she goes with her father to visit one of her father's friends, this Dexter Styles, And she kind of gets the idea that he's somehow an important piece to her family or important piece to her history. And so she definitely remembers who this man is. Years later, her father has disappeared. She is working in the Brooklyn Navy Yard, repairing ships that are going off to war. So I believe this takes place during, I don't know if it's World War I, World War II, but it's definitely historical fiction-esque. Um, she becomes the first female diver to basically go out and repair the ships that are needed to help America win the war. At a nightclub, she comes across Dexter Stiles again and starts to understand her father's life was a little more complicated than she thought. She remembers him and she starts to unravel a little bit of history there. And maybe he knows a little bit more about where her dad is and what happened to him and is he still around. So, sounds really awesome. Sounds really interesting. And you know me in historical fiction. Like, that just gets me all happy and excited. So very interested in that one. Next one I picked up is a book. It's called The Queen of Hearts by Kimmery Martin. I believe Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand talked very highly about this. Um, I don't know much other than it is Grey's Anatomy-esque. So it takes place in hospital with a number of doctors, residents. There's some attraction there. There might be some history with the relationship there. I don't care. You say Grey's Anatomy and I'm going to give it a whirl. So we're going to try that one out. So those were the three that really piqued my my interest as soon as I kind of walked through the new release section. I didn't have a whole lot of time there. I had all three of my kids with me at the library. They were all super excited to go down and pick out their own books, which I need to embrace when that happens. And so as I was quickly trying to find a fourth, I came upon Summer Hours at Robber's Library by Sue Halpern. Um, it sounds like this follows three very unique characters. So we have the librarian who is trying to just pour herself into her work to either forget or get over something that happened in her past. We have Sunny, who's 15, who got arrested and needs to do some community service work. So he's, he or she, it doesn't say. 
is working at the library. And then we have Rusty, who is a Wall Street high flyer, suddenly crashed to earth, whatever that means. But these three meet up, they all kind of find a, sounds like an unusual friendship with each other to help them kind of get through whatever it is that they're going through. So it sounded cute and it's a book about books. What else? I mean, it's, it's a book about books. We're gonna give it out a try. Yeah, stay tuned. I had to pick my daughter up from dance and I had to wait a little bit in the parking lot so I started The Neighbors by Sarah, Hannah Mary McKinnon. Uh, this follows Abby and I'm already in love with Abby. We It looks like we get different perspectives from different characters in the book so I read a little bit from Abby's perspective and one from her husband Nate's perspective. Um, she does not, or sorry, Hannah, the author, does not wait. She puts you right into the action from the get-go. So the very, very first chapter is um, following Abby during the accident that kills her brother. So, it's not a spoiler, it's on the back. Um, so, they had me hooked right away, and then we fast forward to when she's married to Nate. So, definitely going to keep going with this one. I am already loving it within the first 18 pages that I read. So, this is for sure a buy. I may even continue reading it and not have to buy it. We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, book number one, definitely a thumbs up. Okay, so you're gonna have to deal with the post shower, no makeup, wet hair look, but we just got back from our um, family camping trip. We were gone for four days. It was awesome. So good, but so good to come home and take a shower. Um, so I had some time to sit and I read the beginning of Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. And yeah, I'm gonna need to get my hand on this book. This is awesome. Um, I think I'll check out if I can use my book of the month credit because I have one. I didn't get anything this month. So I might pick that up. Um, we jump right in the story. We meet our main character, Anna. She is 12 and her and her father are going to, they're going on an errand is what she calls it. Uh, he's helping the union. Uh, this is post stock market crash about a, maybe a year after that. and. Her father's business has definitely suffered because of it, so he's, I don't know, I don't know what he's into yet. I know it was an interesting meeting. He met a very interesting man. There's some secrets there. I don't know what they are, but yeah, but whatever it is, I, I want to know. So definitely going to pick this one up for sure. So we'll see if I get another chapter in tonight. I don't know. My kids are yelling for me already, so Anyways, I'll be back soon. Good morning and happy 4th of July. Um, I got up early and we're getting the kids ready. We're going to go to a parade today. Um, maybe see some fireworks tonight. Not sure about that. I don't know. My youngest is not a huge fan of fireworks, so we've tried. I think he would be okay, but he doesn't like a lot of loud noises, so I'm just not sure if we're going to see them tonight, but we're definitely headed to a parade this morning. So I had some time to read a little bit outside. It is gorgeous out. The birds are out, the sun is shining. It's just a beautiful morning. So I took advantage of that and I read the beginning of The Queen of Hearts. This is by Kimmery Martin. First of all, the cover is so pretty. I wanna own the book just for that. But I didn't even finish the first chapter and I know that I need to have this book in my life. I read about 10 or 12 pages and I met our main character, Zadie, who is a mother of four. She is a doctor, um, pediatric cardio, I believe is what her, her specialty is. Um, so we find out she definitely has some family drama. She, her youngest got kicked out of preschool for biting another kid. So. Um, she put it in here pretty funny. Uh, she's in the middle of a meeting at one point. I think it was for preschool and she was talking about how um, interesting meetings are, especially when people come from corporate America and that, um, what was the first, what was the line I liked? I had to find it. Um, uh, meetings are the enemy of progress, which I so agree with. But that's a totally different topic for another day. Uh, we also find out that her best friend Emma, who is also a doctor, they have some secrets. Something happened in their third year of medical school that they've agreed not to talk about. And all of a sudden, sudden her friend wants to talk about it. So I'm definitely into this book. Absolutely. I need this in my life. For sure. Even more than the other two that I read. So I think for this is definitely going in a cart somewhere. Um, 
but yeah, I love it. Uh, I unfortunately have to stop, of course, to get everything ready. We gotta get some chairs and snacks and all that fun jazz together. Um, had to have prayed, but we have nothing else planned for the rest of the day. So I'm hoping to get my last book, um, the start of it read, and then um, let you guys know what I think and go from there. So yeah, so far we're hitting it out of the park. I want all three that I've read, but we'll see what happens with the fourth one. Okay, so I am shocked that I was able to finish this today, but it is super, super, super hot and super sunny and no breeze. So like being outside today is not even an option. So we hunkered down in the air conditioning, made everybody take a nap while I finished up the first chapter of the last Try Before You Buy a book. So we're at the beginning of Summer Hours at the Robbers Library by Sue Halpern. Um, I, I had doubts about this one. I kind of picked it up because it was a little bit of a cover buy. It's super cute. It's a book about books. Wasn't really sure what to expect. But I'm really pleasantly surprised. I'm, I'm really into this. But like, I don't want to stop. So it starts out where we meet Kit. And it's like, I think she's a sophomore in college. And it's kind of the beginning of her relationship with her husband because it's called the marriage story so you know that her and Cal get married it's gonna happen um, so you kind of learn how their relationship started and a little bit of a history about them and the quirks like Cal's kind of a geeky guy Kit's kind of doesn't really see herself being attracted to him but she is and he's very practical and lays things out in a very um, I guess, how would I explain that? Very, just this is how it is, and it just makes sense, and this is, this is what works, and so I found that really cute. I loved the cute little story between those two. So, then we go to chapter one, and so the marriage story takes place in the early 90s. Chapter one has us June 7th of 2010 to June 13th, 2010, so we're going back and forth in time. I'm guessing there's more to the marriage story because it did say it was part one, so I want to know more. We, you know, we got to a certain point and it's like, well, then what happened and how did they move forward from there? And then where does this library come into play? So we know from the synopsis that Kit has a job as a head librarian at the public library in Riverton, New Hampshire, and she does that to kind of get away. No one, it says, no one expects Kit to talk about the events that catapulted her out of what she thought was a settled suburban life. So we've got that. And then we know that there's some more characters that are going to be introduced here. So we have a 15-year-old homeless or homeschooled um, kid named Sunny. And there's also another, let's see, Rusty was a Wall Street high flyer, suddenly crashed earth. So we know there's other characters involved. What happened, what happened in, in Kit's past that led her to this library? What's gonna happen with these new characters and how are they all gonna come together? I'm really intrigued. So yeah, it's, it's good, it's really good. So I don't think this really helped me other than solidify the fact that I want to own all four of these books, all of them. Like not even a question. I, mean, I couldn't even tell you which my favorite one is because they're so, this seems more contemporary, this is contemporary, this is historical fiction, this means, seems thriller-ish, maybe contemporary, I don't know. They're all good, they're all awesome. So I'm gonna look to pick up them all. They're all on my list. I have really no plans to go out and buy every one of these books right away, but I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for them. They're really good, really good. If these weren't due back to the library, like, in two days I'd probably just read one but there's no way I can read one in two days we are nearing the end of today um, and then I have to go back to work tomorrow so otherwise they're they're amazing so yeah if anyone's interested in buddy reading one of these with me let me know because that would entice me to pick one up sooner so leave a comment below otherwise yeah round two huge success I think oh just want to buy more books um, anyways, comment, like, subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.